gentlemen and people over the age of 13, welcome to today's advent calendar. I'm home. It's been a long day. Uh, had my mother and her friend stop by, visit them for a little bit, and I've been working. Working hard, I tell you. Uh, there was a surprise, uh, well not a surprise, I knew about it a couple days ago. Anyways, uh, kind of a uh, pop-up graduation ceremony for some uh, echo techs I had to do. So, boss volunteered me and I had to use this guy, as well as the guy I'm wearing. And I just find it funny, technology-wise, that this and this has a lower image quality, quote unquote, than this, or resolution, I should say. That's the key. But the quality of the image is amazing on, well, actually these are pretty old, so they're not the greatest, but again, it's the difference. This has a big brain in it. And I'm not pointing at my own skull, even though it does have one. Ha ha ha. Anyways, but no, this one has a bit more uh, computing power to it. It's more compact and it does do 4K. This has a lot more functionality in some of the settings and stuff, ideally. And the lens and focal length is something that this doesn't have. Now this, by comparison, has a lot more focal length, a lot more you can play with, and it's robotic. So ideally, these are the guys we use in the labs, uh, a version of these, um, in, the, uh, con in the operating rooms, rather. Because we can put them on robotics and control them manually. I mean, robotically rather so. But yeah, but this is an SD model. We are upgrading everything to HD, but boss wanted to keep on this because this lens is still a nice lens. So, I mean, it's a really nice lens. That's just impressive. And again, it's all controlled via this data cable here, so. But yeah, anyways, this one, again, nice handheld. You can go around, point stuff at, and it has its own internal, uh, card system so like here you know you can pop these in and out the downside is we don't have a reader for it so I actually have to physically take this computer I mean take it to a computer plug it in through USB and dump it manually that way so and also you might notice these guys I got these today these are <laughs> presents for my niece and nephew um, either or I mean they're identical so but the thing I didn't realize these are 400 D's they're only 10 megapixels most phones go way above that but again it has all the functionality and stuff of you know most uh, it's it's a good beginner's camera I just didn't realize since this is back from 2006 or 2004 that it's a CF card so <laughs> I, I just bought today from Amazon, since I still have gift cards, uh, some CF cards and CF card reader for these guys. Because again, who has a CF card reader built into their laptop anymore? Most people have SD card readers nowadays. And again, I was hoping that's what these were. So but anyways, I just thought nice beginner's camera for them. Nothing too fancy, but yeah. Uh, anyways, so surprise. Again, whenever I buy cheap, it ends up costing a bit more because I have to buy more stuff to make it work, so. Oh, well, anywho, uh, old US AirTag. They don't, they're no longer in existence. There we go. So, anyways, on to today's shot, which is nice because I'm tired. I might do some live streaming. I keep saying that. I keep, it's one of those things where I get to live streaming, then I get tired and, oh, fuck, I just go to bed. I need to actually record something, too. It's been forever since I've recorded any actual videos. But today's shot I already opened is much welcome. It's Captain Morgan's Apple Smash. A blusting apple shot. 30% uh, by volume, 60 proof. So this is two notch below the standard spirit line. We did the, I did uh, take a shot for the watermelon smash, which was pretty good. Um, I also did the pumpkin. Uh, well, I think I did the pumpkin. I know I've tried it. I've cooked with the pumpkin. Because again, the pumpkin is rum with pumpkin spice. We just made rum cake with it. So, but anyways, here's the smell. Interesting. It's a mixture. <laughs> it's a mixture of apple and rum. Thank you, Captain Obvious. No, it's... um. Uh, what are those? Now and laters? No, not now and laters. Kind of. Uh, but, um, Jolly Ranchers. It's that Jolly Rancher 
sour apple, green apple sm uh, smell to it. So it's that, and the more I smell it, the less I smell the alcohol, the more the sugary sweetness is. So, yeah, so if you think of, uh, now and later a little bit, but more along the lines of Jolly Rancher uh, apple. Uh, that's what it smells like. So, you know, that generic apple, be on brand there, <laughs> a generic apple uh, kind of candy taste. So, But yeah, here's to, again, advancing technology. Just think, none of these things here, as big as they are, has as much resolution as what I'm wearing on my head. So here's to improving technology. Interesting. Again, Smell wrote a check that the flavor couldn't cash, but it's not from completely lack of deposit. It does have some money in the bank, so goes in. Nice. There's uh, alcohol. T uh, your mouth reacts to the alcohol, but there's a sweetness there, but it's very muted. It's not that great but it's still there it's sugary it's sweetness it's just not as grand as you would hope but all throughout there like um a bad gift inside one of those kinder eggs <laughs> i i don't know we don't have those here but yeah like something unpleasant inside the kinder egg that y y someone played a prank on you so it's not what you hope anyways Ah, bad analogy, because you need it's you need to know what's in it. Anyways, underneath all that is this over this subtle rum taste, which is not bad, not bad. It's again goes down smooth, so the taste is smooth. I mean, the alcohol is not that strong, is what I'm trying to say, but it goes down relatively smooth, and there's this little shoot of warmth right after it's gone. So it's just kind of like a hey, you thought you forgot it? Okay, I'll go. Like it tried to scare, jump scare you. But you stared it down and it just politely showed itself back down the throat. So there's no flush up the face. There's no burning down there. But the sweet alcohol taste, again, just has this little hint of rum throughout it. And it kind of ruins it. If it was a bit sweeter, I think the mixture would have been nice. But again, the watermelon, if I remember right, was more delicious. So I'm pretty sure it had less alcohol also. So that's kind of the trade-off, I think. But yeah, that is, it's good. Don't get me wrong. It's not Jolly Rancher candy good. So, so I set the bar high in expectation. Oh boy. But, as I have a mild heart attack, like I said, it's not bad. Mix that with anything. Because again, it has an apple sweetness to it. So, if you mix it with a club uh, soda water, you'll be fine. Uh, or club soda. That'd be an interesting mix. Again, I have the vanilla stuff here. Uh, cream soda rather than club soda. But you mix that with uh, it was cream, vanilla, apple. Hmm, interesting mixture. But again, I think at that point you lose a little bit of the apple taste and you're just left with the rum uh, taste with it. But it's muted enough where it's a non-issue. So, uh, good apple taste, not great. Not completely syrupy though, so if that's a plus minus for you, there it, that's. But rum taste throughout, very muted and mild, just enough to disrupt the apple taste. So that's the long short of it. Mm. But still, again, I wouldn't pass that up. That I would definitely drink that again and again. Uh, probably mix it with some. I wonder how it would do with tea, because again, I'm a big uh, liqueur man or snobs, whichever. So I got these guys that I mix in with my tea, this or raspberry. The raspberry is very syrupy. So again, like I said, syrupy uh, liqueurs has its place. When you're trying to get some nice syrupy taste or sugary taste to something. So that is probably the main trade-off. If it was more syrupy, it'd be less alcohol, more sugar, as math works. But, hmm, interesting. So, anyways, again, I'm all over the place, kind of like that taste was. Hey! Anyways, but yeah. So, again, good, 
but not fantastic by my unrealistic standards. So, uh, now that I'm pretty tired. Again, slacks and a t-shirt. I just want to get to bed. So, all that aside, thanks again for watching and see you tomorrow.